I'm going to show you how to create a very simple song in GarageBand that could be used for all kinds of things, background music, on uh, an iMovie that you and your students create. So here we go. So I've opened GarageBand, and it's taken me to this uh, project selector. So I'm going to start with Empty Project and click Choose. All right. Now, I'm actually going to uh, click on the microphone. It's already selected here. It asked me to if I want audio, if I'm going to put my own audio in there. Uh, I'm actually not, uh, but this is a good way to get started. All right. So I'm going to hit Create. All right. It's going to tell me that uh, I could be getting some feedback if I don't use earbuds when I do this. Um, so... I'm going to say, okay, I get that. We'll keep the volume down low enough so you can see that. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our loops. And here is our loop selector, and we have lots and lots of loops. You notice the ones that are in darker color? Those already live on this computer. The ones that are lighter, those are available to download. So you see that about half of what's available on GarageBand is already in your computer. But then there's other ones that you can bring in if you need them. So uh, we are going to start off with a fun little horn section. So I type Cuban up here, and I'm looking for Cuban Fun Horn 5. So I just take that, and I drag that right over there. Now I'm going to leave it at the second, um, the second bar here. And and then we'll we'll talk about arranging stuff a little bit further. All right, I'm gonna put some guitar on there, and the one that I'm looking for is called Rural Acoustic Strum 15. We're gonna have that start right at the beginning. Now I need some percussion, so I'm gonna go with the bottomless kick beat. There we go. And drag that over here as well. And right now I'm just putting them in uh, just just randomly, just against the, the beginning here. And then uh, we're going to add a little spice to it, and we're going to get some background vocals. This is uh, this is new to me. I haven't seen these in um, GarageBand before. Um, and we're going to use the Christie background vocal 15. All right. So you see that these loops are, are pretty are pretty small, actually. If I were to play this whole thing. All right, so that just plays a little bit of each one. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this out here, though. I'm going to move my, my drums out here, and let's, let's do... 12 of these here. And I'm going to want my guitar to start, but then I'm going to have the drums come in a little bit later, and then we'll have the horns be staggered a little bit too, but we'll stretch all those out. Okay, we'll stretch the guitar all the way out. About like that. And then we'll move Christy's background. We'll have her echo in about right here. All right, so let's rewind this, see how it sounds. All right, that sounds pretty good. So what I want to do now is I want to extend my song. So this little arrangement here is going to just simply repeat itself. So I'm going to go up to Edit, Select All. And just like using a word processor, I can copy these beats. And then I'm going to move my playhead about right there. And I'll paste them in. 
Let me zoom this back a little bit so you can see it. So here we go. So we're, we've got a little bit of gap in there. Maybe we'll extend the horns to cover that gap. It'll give us a little bit of a horn solo there. And then, um, then the acoustic will come in there. And maybe we keep this beat going all the way through, through there. So let's see what this thing sounds like now. All right, and in that one little gap right here, I think we're going to have Christy do her magic again. So, edit, copy that. Because I highlight it, and I can paste it right in there. Well, it went up there, but we can drag her down right into here. So now let's hear that gap. So now I do Command A and select all, copy it, and paste it, paste it all right, right back in there just like that. And so there is, there's our. Sorry about that. That uh, that's how you zoom in and out. All right, there's our composition. I can go up here to the top, and I can export that song as an MP3 and title it whatever I want, and out it goes. So there you, there you are. That's how you put together a quick song in GarageBand.